Hello, my internet friend. So much has happened since we last talked. Since we last talked, by the way, I'm getting ready and packing up to go to a coffee shop so I can work and study in a coffee shop and make it more fun, essentially. And also it's like 100 degrees in my room right now for no reason. I have all the blinds drawn, but there's a heat wave in, I don't know, the beginning of October. So none of this makes sense. But I've been catapulted from the worst mental state in my application process to the best mental state. And I will explain why. It has little to do with what I did and more to do with what happened in the process. Last week, all of a sudden, a lot of the companies that I have applied to decided to get back to me at the same time, asking for phone screens. All I could do last week was prepping for these phone screens. And then last week alone, I had three HR phone screens and one first round interviews. All of them went well, surprisingly, because we know that when I feel good about an interview, it doesn't really mean anything. But in all these cases, actually, I was right about feeling good about these interviews. And this week, I had already, we're halfway through the week, I have already had two first round interviews as a continuation of what happened last week. And then next week, I already have scheduled a technical round and a second round of interviews. So a lot is happening. I went from having no feedback from submitting applications to, you know, in one week having four companies reach out to me at the same time. And naturally, my mental state has gone from I'm sending out all these applications and no one's getting back to me. Is it because my skills aren't good enough? Is it because my resume isn't fitting the job. How do I make my resume fit the job better? To now, okay, I need to get through this first HR screen, then the second HR screen, then the third HR screen. So in, in short, I went from worrying to having no time to worry at all and just having to get through interview after interview after interview. Of the four of these interviews, Three are a combination of supply chain and data, and one is just purely data. At least based on my experience, it's been working a lot better for me when I try to insert my domain expertise into the data job search. And I mind you, I've applied to over 100 jobs now. 85% of the applications are strictly data related. Only 15% of it is a combination of supply chain and data. And overwhelmingly, when I get response is from the ones that are a combination of both. So I think that just goes to show that, you know, even though the best case scenario for me is to work strictly in data, I kind of need to capitalize my strength and my domain expertise in supply chain to kind of put myself at the front of the line of all the candidates. So there's that, there's, there's the job application update.
Pizza is just crazy. I just wanted to hop on here to say that it's now week nine of job search and this is the first time in the entire process where I feel like I'm getting enough response or in another sense validation. Two months, nine, nine weeks is over two months. Honestly, when I started this process, I thought it would take me two months max to find a job, but now I'm two months in, I'm just starting to get kind of the first wave of interviews, if you will. Obviously I've had two interviews before, but they were kind of scattered. And that's to say that, first of all, I am a very, very grateful for the position that I am in right now even though I'm super busy prepping for all these interviews, it means that there is, or there may be a good ending to it. And the second thing that it means is that, you know, in the past nine weeks, every week I've had like a mini breakdown and felt like my skills weren't good enough. And now like being in the position that I'm in now, I know that it wasn't that my skills weren't good enough. It really is a combination of luck and your skills, your tools, your resume. So much of it is luck. If you were like me in my first eight weeks of job search and you feel very deflated, discouraged, just know that it's not a you problem. Your time just hasn't come yet you are going to be fine one of the tip that i read that really helped me getting this wave of interviews was that initially i was really focusing on finding jobs on linkedin you know how it gives you an alert of uh abc job is posted it's it's a really good fit for you or you'll be a top applicant for this position initially that was my route of applying for jobs but i read in this post that what you should try to do is to go on indeed and set job alerts and you can set job alerts based on the title of the job or based on the keywords i have i think two alerts going and I have indeed sent me that alert every single day. And whenever I do see an alert come in, I would apply as soon as I can. That way I am at least in the first batch of applicants. I think that's really helped me to increase the, the luck component, right? Because my resume really hasn't changed from week eight or nine to week one or two. The only thing that has changed for me was that instead of applying to a job that's on LinkedIn that already has over a hundred applicants, I am now applying to jobs that maybe are less prestigious in a traditional sense, right? It's not working at your, you know, big tech companies, but at these smaller companies, I am the first batch of applicants whose resumes are in the system. Another tool that has really helped me is I think called Simplify Copilot. It is not for uh, like helping you interview with AI. I think it has two main functions. One is that it edits your resume based on the job posting, 
I don't really use that part because you have to pay for it and I refuse to pay for services like this because I'm stingy like that. The second component of this Simply Drops that I do use is the auto fill application part. For a lot of these job postings, the information is repetitive. A lot of it is, what's your name? Where do you live? What race are you? Are you disabled? Are you a veteran? I used to fill these in manually. I've done it for like 80, 90 jobs before I found this. It's a Chrome extension. You just click, you know, I want to apply. You upload a resume and all of these fields, Chrome extension, fills it in for you. Those are the two things I think that has really helped me to get to where I am today. Naturally, I hope that I land an offer or two in this wave of interviews, but who knows, you know? I felt good about interviews before and nothing happened. I'm just gonna keep doing what's in front of me to the best of my ability and leave the rest to the interviewer, to the recruiter, to whoever makes the decision. Cause you know, it's not in my control. I can just, the only thing that I can do is to do my best. I didn't have any agenda when I sat down here. I was worried that I wouldn't come up with enough things to talk about, but now it's coming out like geyser. The crystal geyser. Yeah, and like the last thing that I want to say is that I've noticed in the past couple of weeks, my entire life has become job searching. And even though job searching inherently is a, a not fun process, it's demoralizing. Nobody has ever said that I love job hunting, said literally no one ever. But at the same time, I feel like I'm so focused on the job search that I was not allowing myself other parts of life, other experiences like watching a movie or things that are not considered productive, right? My entire focus in the last couple of weeks was work, job search, figure out whether I need to go back to grad school. That's it. I was not... People, people ask me like, oh, with all the study sessions, how do you make time or how do you time, how do you have time for work or how do you, how do you this, how do you that? Well, I, I do all of that because I have no life. I've had no life for the past couple of weeks. I, I study, I work, I maybe go to the gym once in a while and then I, I, I get back to my desk at eight, nine, 10 o'clock and I continue to do fill in job apps. So I feel like I was purposely depriving myself of the parts of my life that maybe matters more than a job. And I was scrolling one day on my phone and I found uh, this, like, this little picture and it really resonated with me and let me show you. And what it says is that if you trusted that it all work out at the end, would you have more fun along the way? It's just, it just serves as a reminder that I will have a job at some point and while I'm getting the said job, I should have fun. And I, I, I've been slowly realizing that I'm sort of purposely depriving myself of of the fun component that when i finally decided that you know like i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna have it both ways i'm gonna both look for a job and i'm gonna make sure that i'm actually enjoying uh my life outside of job hunting so one night i i rewatched inside out and i pulled my eyes out it took t over two hours you know me three, four, five weeks ago would have never spent two hours to watch a movie. What do you mean two hours to watch a movie? I can submit three job applications in two hours. You know, that was my mentality back then. But I watched Inside Out. I cried like a baby, but I have no regrets. So that's it for my TED talk. Make sure that you're 
having fun. Make sure you're watching a movie, make sure you're doing silly little things, going on walks, playing with your cat, uh, water your plants, do whatever. Make sure that job hunting and setting is not the only part of your life. I've been there and it was not enjoyable. <laughs>